What's going on, YouTubers? Uh, welcome to another video unboxing review. I bring to you the Star Lord One Tenth Scale Endgame statue. So I went ahead and purchased him and uh, Doctor Strange because in my old setup, I simply had no space for them. But this coffee table is actually about three inches deeper, and so I am actually, and because I get a three sixty degree view of it, I can actually fit a few more one tenths. So I decided to pick these up so I could finish the line. So let's go ahead and open up Star-Lord. Already took off all the tape, at least I thought I did. There we go. Let's see what we got here. I know exactly where I'm gonna put uh, Doctor Strange. Star-Lord might be a little bit trickier. Check this out. Heavy base. I don't think these have an addition size, really. I think they just make them if they're popular, they keep making them. As far as I understand. Here we go, my second Star-Lord statue, movie version. She actually looks a little bit bigger than the other one. Check out that out. So I know he goes simply just right in here, like so, and then if we could get this out, these are his guns. So the other Star-Lord comes with a switch out helmet where you can have the, you know, unasked portrait. This one does not. So because of that, I might actually just display the unmasked on my Infinity War version. Pretty sure that goes there. Yep. Yeah, the Infinity War I got over there. That one has the unmasked portrait. So I'll probably just end up displaying that from now on. So there's some differences between the two. Alrighty, so this one actually shows him shooting out the gun, which is really cool. So, actually like that, and boom, Star-Lord. So, we're going to go ahead and set him up now. Alrighty, so here is Star-Lord, and for a 110th, he actually does uh, have quite a cool looking uh, pose and presence. I think he stands 11 inches tall because he is in that flying pose, which is very unique. The other one was flying as well, sort of, you know, as he was jumping on Doctor Strange's energy things. This one, he's simply just using his uh, more or less like rocket foot launchers here. And they actually do connect on both feet. And it's more of a translucent resin on this, and the rest just looks like a painted resin. Uh, translucent on the fire coming out of his gun. He's shooting, he's flying. Very, very cool. I like this cloud effect. I think it looks really good. Sort of reminds me of the XM Boba Fett, how it also had a similar cloud effect in flying. It's like a miniature Star-Lord version. So very cool. You got this a base similar to all the others where it's like the earth and rock, and then the cloud effect, a rebar poking out. So very, very cool. I love this effect right here. You know, I saw this in person before, but it's even more impressive now that I own it. And then of course the costume itself textured, you know, it's as detailed as like a sideshow one fourth, but in a one tenth scale manner. I would love if Iron Studios made one fourth of all these. I would buy the whole freaking set. If they made the entire end game line in one fourth, really just, enlarge these to one-fourth, I would 100% buy the whole thing. But Star Lord looks awesome. Now I need to figure out exactly how I'm going to display him. He weighs about maybe two pounds. You know, I was thinking I could probably just put him right there. You know, like he's shooting at Thanos right next to Groot. You know, that kind of works. And see, the idea is I need to fit Iron Spidey, which is actually shipping right there. And then also War Machine or Iron Patriot and Rocket. So I need to fit all of them along there. I'm going to put Doctor Strange right there. Just got to open him up. And then I got everything else planned out. 
Star Lord's pretty cool, though. I mean, because I have him leaning over Groot, though, which makes sense, you know, they're Guardians of the Galaxy, he doesn't take up as much space. So check him out. And I'm having characters angled to where I can see them from multiple angles, you know, like this angle. I can see multiple characters. So I like having it as a centerpiece, you know, on this coffee table because I can really gain a good view of every single character. Star Lord costs 95 bucks, I think. Plus, you know, shipping's about $15 usually on these. Uh, so very, very cool piece. I do like it quite a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and compare him real quickly to the other one. So you can see the pair right here, that one, and then this one. I think the Endgame one is better for sure. I like that one quite a bit as well, but I think Endgame is better. Very cool little one-tenth scale statue. I'm a fan of these one-tenths. When you get many, they look really cool. So, just do some close-ups real quickly. Mask looks great. I love the texture work. You know, it looks just like them. That gun blaster looks awesome. Great pose. I love the flying. I love the concept. Definitely a very cool 110 scale statue. And welcome addition to the 110th line. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.